Wrestling Core here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a brand new discussion for Pokemon Journeys, so without further ado, let's begin with this. So we have ourselves a couple of new episode titles that have been revealed, and the first of the two is episode 79, The Moon and the Sun. Koharu and Haruhi. There's also a summary that goes along with this, and it goes as follows. Satoshi, Go, and Koharu visit the Eclipse Castle in the Johto region so they can meet an Espeon and an Umbreon. But believe it or not, there they find a girl named Haruhi who looks exactly like Koharu. Haruhi tells them she's been appointed the new mistress of the Eclipse Castle by properly running the Eclipse Festival that takes place there. But as everyone continues the preparations for the festival, a shady looking boy watches the castle intently from the water. Okay, so there are a few things about the summary that stand out to me. Number one, we have ourselves the appearance of Espeon and Umbreon that's going to be taking place in this episode. Number two, this Haruhi girl seems to be a doppelganger of Chloe, which is really interesting. And the bit about the shady looking boy watching the castle intently from the water? I wonder what that's all about there. Now, I think this episode is going to be another one of those episodes that focuses on Chloe and more specifically her Eevee because we do have a bit of a theme here going on involving Eeveelutions and Chloe here. So we could very well get ourselves another one of those episodes where Eevee meets her Eeveelutions and it further adds options on what she wants to do as far as evolution goes. Now as far as the shady looking boy part, I'm kind of drawing a bit of a blank right here, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments and help me out with the speculations here. What do you think is going to happen involving that shady looking boy? What role is that shady looking boy going to play in this episode, I wonder? So now let's move on to the second episode title, which is episode 80, Trial Mission. Ogamoth's Golden Scales. Okay, so just from the title by itself is already generating a lot of hype within my crazy ass system. Number one, the words Trial Mission is in the title, so this is another Project Mew episode. And number two, Ogamoth being Volcarona in translation is getting an episode. Oh my god. But hang on a second, ladies and gentlemen. There's actually something that I have to say here, especially when we're talking about golden scales here. Because if we take a look at regular Volcarona, we don't exactly see any gold on it, so... There can only be one thing left here, and that is Shiny Volcarona. Oh my god, if we are going to be encountering a Shiny Volcarona in this episode, I am going to lose my mind. I swear to god, I'm going to lose it. Like, Shiny Volcarona is just, oh my god, like, this has to happen in Pokemon Journeys. Now, we don't exactly have ourselves a summary to go along with this episode title at the moment, but it does seem pretty straightforward as to what this episode is going to be about. My god, I am excited for this. I cannot wait. But what are your guys' thoughts and opinions about what it is we discussed here in this video? Whatever they happen to be, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be a wrap up here for this video. So I say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly guys, smash it up in the comments down below. Because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will. That and we're gonna change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And as always, your boy will see you guys in the next one.